principle. Like, kind of the base, this is really the whole basis of our offense. But if you look, teams play, like this is five receivers here. Yeah. Teams are going to play personnel in formation, so it's five receivers, it's four by one. Right. So they're playing first and ten now against us. We rush for 250 yards a game. They're playing two deep, and then when the ball snapped, they're dropping this guy out. They're dropping a three technique out here. You know, so teams, no, ma no matter what you are offensively, they're still going to play certain stuff certain ways. You know, so we're... Run the rebow here, block, block. Again, with four guys, we're counting the fourth non-safety from the sideline. Well, that dude is almost always going to be in the box against us. Yeah. You know, unless they do something crazy and close the middle, and if they close the middle, we'll have something built in back here to single this guy one-on-one. -on -one. But when they play too deep, I mean, really by rule, John should throw that, but the other thing, he, he sees this box. You know, this is kind of the whole, the reason we're in the shotgun and the spread zone huddle is to get you to line up and that to us and then drop a guy for crying out loud. Yeah. Um, How much of the offense is, is RPO stuff for you? A lot, I mean, a lot, you know, if not, I mean, I, I don't have a percentage right. of it, but I would, almost all the red game has something. A bubble, a smoke, a stick route, a, pa a route built on the backside. Okay. You know, we talk. We, there's really no three-step drop for us per se. It's right. almost all this stuff. Okay. Uh, you know, we we still have the three-step drop in just kind of like you know two-minute situations or something like that. Right. But if you want to move defenders, have those guys run block. You know, that's the that's the, the way to go. And then same thing here. He sees six in the box and he sees cross dog ball comes out right now. You know, plus the the fourth guy, number four, is not covering down our number four. Right. So you're telling that quarterback, is, is, this, is this an RPO? Or? RPO, because yeah. so he, still, these five up front are blocking in right. the same zone. So he's, he's looking right now at that linebacker right there at the 30, at the 41-yard uh, line, right? You got one, two, you count him. three. Yeah, so there Here's he the fourth dude. Right. But you, you got two things. Number four is uncovering our number four, and then you got six in the box. Right. Which means somewhere or somebody, unless they're, co unless they're no deep cover zero, you know, that's when they got everybody covered right. down, and somebody's going to be uncovered. So how much of the book is now out of four by one for you? Uh, I mean, a decent amount, but we do it at two by two. We'll do it at three by Why one. Why would you want it at a two by two or three by one? Two by two is pretty good because some of your best looks in two by two. Are those apex players? Are those, is, is that weak side apex player? When yeah. you, you know, when you go, exactly right, when you go zone to the field, this will linebacker against us is going to keep his ass in the B gap. You're probably going to get your cover two there, but we're, some people are discouraged by cover two back there, but we're not. We'll still block that dude. You know, so there's, I think there's a time and place for all of it. Right. Um, I think quads is a pain in the neck, though, because people play a lot of empty. They're used to playing three by two empty. They're not really, they're not yeah. really yeah. as sold on four by one. And it's a lot easier to overplay a trip side than it is to overplay a four man side, because at some point you overplay a four man side and you're compromising the box uh, pretty severely if the quarterback can run. You get two yeah. over four, really. You know, six in the box. It's a really good tempo play. This was one we ran it to the right and then ran it right again to the left. Because if you have them uncovered, you want to keep them uncovered. Yeah. So the run component to this is just, I mean, they're just, they're blocking outside zone to the right, right? Or whatever. They're inside with, zone. Inside yeah. zone to the right. Inside zone. You know, the sixth guy we're not going to get to. Right. Um, which if we're running to a sixth guy, then we're wrong. Somebody's covered. So if you get a five-man box, that tackle just locks. And the uncovered line just works. And that, yeah, and we run, we run stick draw, you know, exactly right, same thing. We run stick draw and there's five in the box. It's essentially everybody blocking a guy off from anyhow. Right. You know, there's not a ton of scheme to it when there's five in there. Right. You know? Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm listening. And then, you know, same thing. And teams, teams are just throwing a kitchen sink at us. You know, zone blitz is playing cover two, zone blitz is playing cover three. Uh, but if you have them uncovered, just keep doing it. The one thing that Sam does a really good job of is, you know, early in the game, if we blow one of these blocks, we're not, we're not going to scrap it. We're going to keep throwing it, go back to it. Okay. You know, it's this is like to us, if you call power or if you call ISO, you know, if you get six, seven, eight yards, it, it's a great play. If you get two yards the first time, it doesn't mean we're going to shit can it for the rest of the game. Either. Right. You know, so it's, it's what we do. See, it doesn't look like, I mean, I know it's a post-snap read, but he could just tell by the placement of number 11 right now. Where the, Without a doubt. So you're not telling him anything. I mean, he should, 
I mean, for the most part, he's got to know he's getting the ball out if he sees that. If he it's gets, not like his eyes are watching a read key. I mean, right? On this stuff, it's cover down or not right. cover down. Right. On the RPOs, it's it's more my eyes are locked on the mic linebacker. You'll see here that they're up here next on here. If the mic drops out, then I'm running. Oh, so this is an RPO? It is, but like RPOs for us are like actual movement. Pat, like when I'm we have stick call or we have slants call. Okay. Or something like yeah. That. That's but this this is this is an RPO because yeah. it's you know. It, yeah, we went to see you know their their line was you know it's outside it's seven on seven for the receivers inside it's uh, inside run 